Can you solve this geometry question asked in SAT exam? We are given a quarter circle with a radius of one unit like this. Inside this quarter circle, a tilted square is placed in such a way that each of its corners touches the arc and sides of the quarter circle, just like this. And our goal is to find the area of this blue shaded square. You can pause the video and take a moment to think about it. And when you're ready, you can always come back to verify your answer. All right, let's solve it together. But before we begin, let's first understand the structure of this figure. Notice something? This side of the square touches the arc of the quarter circle. That means this side of square is actually a chord of the full circle. Now imagine drawing the perpendicular bisector of this chord. According to the perpendicular bisector theorem, the perpendicular bisector of any chord in a circle always passes through the center of the circle. That means this line we just imagined passes right through the center of the quarter circle like this. And since this is square, that means this same line must also be the perpendicular bisector of the opposite side of the square, right? So we have a 90 degree angle here and another 90 degree angle here. Now let's focus on these two right triangles formed between the center of the quarter circle, the midpoint of the square, and these two corners of square. These two triangles have the same side lengths, share a common side, and have the same angles. That means they are congruent, and these two base angles at the bottom of the quarter circle must be equal. And as this full angle here is a right angle, both of these angles must be 45 degrees each. We know that sum of all the angles of triangle is equal to 180 degrees. That means these two angles are also 45 degrees. And these triangles are isosceles right triangles. In other words, their two legs are equal in length. So this side is equal to this side. Now let's call this half side of square as x units. So this other side is also x units, and this is also x units. Since this is square, which means this full side length of the square must be two times x. Now looking at this vertical distance from the top to bottom, this is x units, and this is two x units. That means this full length must be equal to x plus two x, which is three x units, right? Now let's draw the radius of the quarter circle like this, and focus on this right triangle. This right angle triangle has base as lengths, x units and height as 3x units, and a hypotenuse of 1 unit. So applying Pythagorean theorem, we get x squared plus the square of 3x equals 1 squared. Simplifying this, we get x squared plus 9, x squared equals 1, or 10x squared equals 1. Now dividing both sides by 10, and we get x squared equals 1 divided by 10. The area of a square is calculated by squaring its side. Since the side of our square is 2x, its area becomes 2x squared, which is 4x squared. So substituting this x squared equal to 1 over 10 into the formula, we get area of this blue shaded square is equal to 4 times 1 over 10, which is 0.4 square units. And that's our final answer. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Even though we didn't know the side length of the square at the start, a little geometry and algebra helped us find its exact area. But wait, before you go, I have a quick bonus challenge for you. Can you find the area of this square in terms of a variable r instead of one unit? Think it through and drop your answer in the comments below. Let's see who can figure it out. If you found this explanation helpful and learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more mind-bending math questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.